a turn. Actually, have the mic plugged in, but it should still be okay. Hopefully, we're not here for super long. Um, I figured it would probably be fun to eat in the bathhouse because I'm still here. Because uh, I like waking up late <laughs> and clouds for a really long time. So yeah, uh, and rotate it to the right. Cheers, rotate. Always, can always rely on you. Says otherwise seems good. Alright, how's that? Are we good? I hope so. says good now. Or are we still still small and rotated to the right? I don't know why bitstream. It's um Kinda of funny, I did try, I tested out a recorder earlier, and it is, <laughs> I mean, Bitstream is pretty great uh, compared to it, it did not go well. Uh, so still, still on the lookout, I think, for a, um, <laughs> for an, for an app, like, Bitstream does kind of get, like, a lot of things right, beside the full 40 thing. It's pretty good. But hey, you been for a kid? How's your day been? How's your day going? Hey, um, yeah, what I did this morning. I had more bugs. I was really sad when I got in last night. Uh, the, um, they were cleaning the bathhouse, which is really good because, you know, that's like hygienic and stuff. But I was so pooped. I just like went to bed without, without like having my. Having my traditional bath, I think they were um, closed between maybe 11 and 12. And yeah, I, I was asleep by midnight. And then I like, slept like a rock and didn't wake up until like 9 a.m. Uh, oh, that's good to hear. It's really good to hear. I figured, yeah. So I had some gimbap this morning for breakfast. It was pretty good. And now I have ordered a kimchi jjigae because we haven't had that yet. And it was one of the things that I could recognize on the menu. Although the nice thing about being in here is that I can sit there and like look at the menu for ages trying to read everything. Um, and it should be good. I'm on a road trip to the western coast of the states tomorrow. Never been so it should be fun. For okay, that sounds awesome. Wait, west coast? That's like, like, uh. Like Washington, Oregon, California, right? Where are you going? That's so cool. Angela is up to Seattle. <laughs> That's so cool. How long how long are you guys taking? Suffering, huh? That's weird, we shouldn't be buffering. We are like. FERC8 says one week only. Hey. I'm fine. FERC8 oh, so says four fine now. Things. Sorry, weird. Uh, I will double check that. Only a week. FERC8 wow, that's, that's, that's going to be pretty. That's going to be pretty fast. Um, yeah, no. There's a train that runs up the west coast that goes from LA to Seattle that I've taken, and um, and it's it's a beautiful journey. It's so nice for a kid. You're you're gonna have a great time. I'm trying to find a little app that tells me how our bandwidth is going. Uh, yep, there we go. Levafly says, boy, that TTS is annoying. Levafly, can you hear it? Is it, is it actually talking? Because I can't, like, I can't hear it. I thought it was disabled, unless, um... Levafly says, yes, we can hear it. Oh, sorry, FERC8 guys. FERC8 says, yeah, can hear it louder wow. than usual. Uh, hang on. I will, I will kill it. I will kill it. Oh, okay. no. That's so weird. So I've got it like completely muted. 
But, um... Apparently, it's like very silently... Very silently talking. Uh, at you. Hang, hang super tight. I'll turn it off. Alright, is it gone now? Uh, oh wait, hold on. I will. Get out of that, make sure it saves. Okay, is it gone now? Uh, I set it to headphones only. I'm sorry, I didn't even realize that was on. Test, test. Are we good? Maybe. So, first, are we good? Uh, Libra flying it, this was seven bucks. Yes! Sweet, it's gone. Sorry about that again. Uh, and yeah, like, I mean, the thing with. The thing with this is that, like, this was pretty much what I ordered and paid for. All of these other little side dishes come for free. Oh, I guess this and the rice. Um, or what I ordered and paid for. So it's only, like, these two things. These always come if you're, like, in a restaurant. Or if you're even if you're, like, in a really cheap place, like, you're getting gimbap or whatever. Um, there's still, like, always, like, a bit of radish or a bit of kimchi or something. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, Chibi Sun's right. Yeah, Libra Fly, it's really, it's a really cool, um, like, cultural system. It's, I, I really like it. I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not actually sure what we've got today. I mean, I know we got, um, we got kimchi stew, which is here. I'm gonna wait for that to cool down. Uh, we've got some uh, beans. This looks like, I don't know, just like greens? But then this is kimchi. So like sometimes I think there's like, like kimchi doesn't necessarily have to be like the red cabbage, sometimes it's really light. This looks like anchovies and possibly chilies. I'm a little afraid of that. And this looks like spring onion. Hey, gutter mouth, how you doing? We are having lunch in the bomb house. Oh, also, these are the pajamas that they give you, um, which is really cool. And then I think we're gonna get going and start uh, start riding. How you doing, gutter mouth? How you doing? How's your day been? You too, Libra Fly and Chibi Sun. How have your how have your days been? I hope I hope they've been going well. So basically you got like kimchi stew with like tofu and stuff. Which I am pretty keen for. I don't think we've actually had this yet. Oh actually no, maybe we have. I think they gave us a free one. Um, when we went to that barbecue place with the with the huge charcoal burners, but um, but other than that, mm. oh, I don't even have it. That is a smart test thing about some restaurants for travelers, sort of like taverns. Maybe Berkeley. I'm not. I'm honestly not sure. Like I'm not sure why it's here and nowhere else. Um, you know? Ooh, this might this might actually be seaweed. I might have lied about the uh, the green onion. Mm. Yeah, it's like kelp, <laughs> which is which is kind of fun. Um. Maybe just, maybe just, because like I'm pretty sure every, like every old days culture had bathhouses. Um, just because, uh, I don't know, like, 
for like public bathhouses because like not everyone was uh, wealthy enough to have them in their house. But um, yeah, maybe it just stuck around. I'm not sure why. But like, I mean, this is this is basically like there are families here making a day out of this. I don't know if you guys can hear all the kids in the background. This one actually has like a complete like like jump not jumping castle but like playground built into it. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I have to sit by crossing my legs, it hurts too much. Ooh, Lebo flame. Um, yeah, you might, you might be in trouble here, there's a lot of sitting on the floor. Shower, good morning, enjoy your lunch, thank you, Shower. It is, um, it's pretty good so far, we just sat down, we're in the bathhouse. Hence why I have pajamas on. It's, um, pretty nice. Mmm. That's real good. That's what it is. Ah, uh, not really, fuck it. So there's like, the segregated areas uh, are just like, um, like what you'd imagine public baths to be. They're just kind of like baths set in stone. Uh, there's a couple of different ones at different temperatures. There's usually like at least a few, like, there's usually two or three warm ones. This one has heaps. And one like really cold one, and then at least one or two saunas. Um, but then in the common area here, uh, behind me, I think it's kind of hard to see, we'll go for a walk around afterwards and hopefully like not get kicked out for it. Um, there are kind of just like mats, there's a couple of TVs, people are just watching TV, this one has like a gym in it, this one's got a uh, like a place for kids, like a kids playground, um, and then a bunch of like common saunas. Um, so it's not really like a water park as such. And then for the um, for the like female side of it, I imagine it's really like similar to the male side of it, just a couple of baths. So this area doesn't have any water in it, it's all like saunas and dry stuff. But um, yeah, we'll try, and, we'll try and take a walk around, because it's probably easier to show you rather than explain. Uh, Shala, I'm not in Chunchun. We smashed out, I think, like 80 odd K yesterday, uh, trying to get to the next stamp booth. We didn't quite make it, we decided to kind of go the opposite direction, we're actually heading back to Seoul. And, uh, along another bike path that just randomly appeared and wasn't in our passport. Um, and we're kind of gonna like like loop back around and uh, and hit the next stamp booth today just to make up some kilometers because um, I think after that Cat5 Chaos, who has just popped in, hello Cat5 Chaos, um, said that there is a hill and I would like to tackle that like early and fresh rather at the end of a long day. Princess Ash, love me, Sebi. I do love you, Princess Ash. How are you going? We are, we are in the bathhouse. We are in... I got him out the... Yeah, this is like a restaurant in the bathhouse. Um, so there's like... Some, some ladies kind of in the... I don't know if you guys can see. There's like a little booth there, like... The kitchen over here. And they, they cook... Uh, this food when you, when you ask for it. <laughs> Mm. I believe it, Cat5 Chaos. Alright, I'm a little afraid of this. This looks like a chilly skin. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Mm. Okay, the spice is okay. That's all good. Yes, Princess Ash, I'm so glad to hear. That's fantastic. I'm so happy to hear that. That is that is that is excellent news. <laughs> Jeez, that's 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 a rough like 24, 48 hours before that, but I'm so glad that that's the case. There's like tiny fish in here. They're really nice. It must be so relieving. Mmm. Yeah. I can imagine Princess Ash. I can like, I can only imagine. Today is a good day. Hmm. Yum. Tofu is the best. 
It's so good. Mmm. Nice kimchi. Tastes a lot more like saucy, or like tomato-y, um, than, uh, than others that I've had. <laughs> because I know, uh, I figured we would do, we'd do mukbang in the bathhouse, and then we'd head out. Um, I spent the morning, I, I woke up late because I was pretty pooped, and, uh, spent the morning trying to do, uh, stream stuff, but I don't think, I don't think anything really got done. Um, my, my laptop's kind of, like, shit itself, which, um, means that I also slept, spent the morning trying to work out why and how to fix it. Which seems, like, it, it kind of annoys me to spend time, like, on, um, on, like, stuff like that, because, like, um, I, when we're writing so long, I'm kind of like, you know, I still get to sleep. Like, there's really not that many other hours in the day, and I don't want to be, be spending it doing tech stuff, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll work it out. Yeah, Nico san I can't, I can't show you guys the, um, like, the actual bathhouse area, obviously, but hopefully they don't, like, so far no one seems to mind me being in the restaurant with the camera, and hopefully they won't mind me kind of walking around the, uh, the Jimjilbong part, the common area, um, as well, because it, it really is quite unique here. Uh, nowhere else in the world has this, like, stuff like this. This is actually, I haven't slept yet, though. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what's the time that Princess Ash? Do you like I love Korean food. It's pretty spicy, but... It is also pretty tough, so... The yeah, Valorant Tech stuff, it's like, ugh. Part of the, part of the fun. Oh, that was the other thing we did this morning. We tried, um... We tried out, I think it's like, Ace Stream, Ace Streaming app. Um, it's it's not, it's not super, super on point. So we're back to midstream, with it's like slow drifting and um, or it's slow audio drifting and the four hour forty cutoff. But that's okay. Uh, Nikosan, the restaurant I think is only open from until like. Maybe 10 ish? I think it's open like 10 to 10. But there's another, there's like a little like snack bar in here where you can get, like you can definitely get like cup noodles and you can definitely get like gimbap. Um, and just like little snacky food rather than like this cooked food. I guess like cold food, um, something that doesn't need to be prepared. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much open 24 hours, I think. At least it was like. It was open still when I went to bed, and it was open when I woke up as well. Mmm. Yeah, Valerine. Oh, and the other thing with it was that it doesn't actually work with stream elements. So I kind of let those guys know that in case they're like recommending it to other people. It only seems to work with stream labs. I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, which I don't use. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, Valerine. I hope so. I mean, I imagine, like, it's a pretty tricky thing to get right, but still. Oh, there's pork in here. Cool. I did not... I did not realize that we also got pork as part of our kimchi jia. Mmm, yum. So I'm kind of just like... Because <laughs> I, I can deal with like warm food or spicy food, but I can't really deal with both at once, or like hot food or spicy food. So I take it out of like the hot soup and put it like kind of on my rice to cool down a little and then and then I can eat it so I got like a little uh, assembly line um, yeah I guess assembly line going here Liz do Australian people eat rice every meal or sometimes uh, Liz I don't think Australians do but um, a lot of Asian food I think comes with rice within a lot of meals it's just like I feel like every culture has a carb that goes along with like you know the veg or the meat 
whether it's like you know maybe pasta or rice or noodles or um, like potato uh, there's always there's always something yeah Valerine it's so good it's like just consistently good here hello Kimimaro and Stager how are you guys going they're in the bathhouse <laughs> in, the, in the restaurant in the bathhouse which is why I mean they give you these pajamas and you give them back like after you're done uh, and so like I'm having lunch in here because it got to about lunch time I was like sure why not I haven't had lunch in the bathhouse yet um, we're eating kimchi jjigae or kimchi stew um, it's pretty great it's the shiro my spirit animal aw thank you princess ash it's kind of you to say Oh yeah, Elias. Uh, yeah, we're in we're in Korea. We're in South Korea right now. We're um getting. <laughs> funnily enough, like since we're meant to be riding away from Seoul, we're actually getting closer for a little bit. Hmm. Kaboom! Too early. Not before the ride. Although it's funny, like I see a Korean family over there where they're kind of like their kids are just running around playing in like the play area, and they're just sitting there with a couple of beers, like you know, chilling out and chatting and stuff. It's, it's like, like a family expedition here, uh, I guess, to come to the bathhouse is really cool. Stager, the food is excellent. I'm like, it's, I don't, I don't think I've had anything like bad here or substandard, it's insane. The consistency of the food. There's a bomb that of his crats. Cheers. We were at 8.99 last night, and then I woke up this morning, like, someone followed over, and I was like, cool, thanks, thanks, mysterious follower. Really, Krimamara? Never heard that. You're right, Kaboom. It must, it must have a secret entrance because like there is, it, it's like completely flush and it doesn't feel like it comes away. <laughs> Even like you can't like push it in or anything. Yeah, stage here, there's so many kids in here. This is the first ball pass I've been to that actually has like a kid's playground in it. It's pretty cool. Ah, Princess Ash, thank you for the bits. I bet it is Dozer Bob. <laughs> you must you must speak friend and enter. Or, um, I don't know, yeah, maybe maybe there's a book that you need to pull, like, somewhere on a bookshelf in here. It'll take you in. That would be pretty cool. It's like, secrets of the bathhouse. Secrets of the Jimjobang. A true mystery. Indeed, indeed. Hey, Mimenol. How you doing? I'm sorry, Chibi Sam. Yeah, but okay. I explained this. I explained this before. Is that I can deal with spicy stew or I can deal with hot stew, but I can't deal with it both at once. So I need to actually take the stuff out of the stew and like let it cool down a bit, and then the spice isn't that bad for me. But if I like, the heat and the spiciness, if I try and eat it together, just like, it's too much for me. <laughs> Jenny, I'm gonna eat it my weird way. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> uh, princess, I feel good. Open sesame seed. No luck, I'm sorry. 
pain, that was vivid. And it is going well. We are, we are still in the bathhouse, which is which is pretty nice. And because there's a restaurant in here, so I'm, I'm eating lunch in here. And I thought that might be interesting to see. And then we'll kind of like uh, wander a little around the bathhouse if nobody minds and tells me to go away. Um, and then we'll head off and we'll start writing again. Princess Ash, maybe we need to say it in Korean. So if you, if you can come back, if you can come back to me on how to say it in Korean, that might work. So we've got some sweet kimchi stew. I mean, not like sweet, like flavor sweet, like isn't cool, like, no, not cool either. Delicious, delicious kimchi stew. Apparently all of my um, adjectives revolve around like things that are also properties of food. Yeah, Miles Rivet, as well as all of the little uh, side dishes that come with it. This one's seaweed, it's okay. Um, this is like nice green kimchi. This is like little fish with, uh, I guess, chili skins. And this is not the normal bean sprouts. No, 22 old self is turned into a child. <laughs> That's okay, Princess Ash. I, it's like, what is it? The, um, the Lost Boys. It's like, you just never grow up. The pork is really good too. Oh! Mm -hmm. I thought that was a potato, it turns out it was a pickled radish. Dingo! <laughs> Dingo, do I not hear? Wow! Dingo, do you got like called out? <laughs> How are you going? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Libra Fly, sardines, I think. Um, I'm not actually, I stream their sardines. I'm not, I'm not super familiar with many, many fish. But if you, uh, if you recognize that. They're pretty good, actually. I never used to like, um, like tiny fish with sardines and stuff, but they've really been growing on me, like, the last couple of years. Some. What I will do when I'm done is I'll put the rice in the stew because hopefully it'll be cool enough then and then the rice can like soak up the stew and it'll be delicious. Uh, so I'm kind of doing it in the right order, just in the wrong order, but we will eventually get to the right order, maybe, if that makes sense. Ooh. Oh, my, my, my rice is ticking around. How do I... How do I eat? How do I food? Hmm. Oh. Actually, I'll be back in just a tick. I'm gonna go grab some water. eating kimchi stew or kimchi jjigae. It's um, I guess like kimchi and stew and tofu and pork. It's really good. Uh, I don't think I've actually had it here yet, but it's one of my favorite things to order. It's one of Kits' favorite things to order too back at home. Mm. Tofu is the bomb. But apparently, you're not meant to eat it this way. What you're meant to do is put all the rice in the soup 
and then edit from the soup bowl. So they're not very good with hot spicy things, so hey, I cool it down on my bed of rice and then eat it. Mm. Yeah, after this, we'll go for a little bit of a wonder. And, um, and then we'll get on the bike and start riding again. Jinji 3, you might want to go visit there for the food and the culture. Jinji 3, I would definitely recommend visiting South Korea. It is, um, I mean, both of, the, <laughs> both of those things here are fantastic. Looks good, six looks good, yeah. Mm. Here's an employee, exactly under. I mean, the sleep is, um, It is definitely a different part. Um, I wouldn't say the sleeping conditions are as high quality as the food, but it's still it's still good in a pinch. And like I don't know. Yeah, for the for the price and for and pretty chuck. Like if you want to go to any kind of bathhouse uh, back in Australia. It's usually like minimum 30 bucks, and uh, and then that's like just just have a bar. That's not even with um, with uh, with the napping or the facilities on top of that. Like this like this place has like heaps of saunas. It's got gyms. It's got like cold rooms, and obviously yeah, like it's got um you yeah, like this the ability to sleep in it. Hey, Princess Ash. Welcome back. did so we're um we're kind of like we didn't get to the end of the path we're probably about halfway along it i think we ended up um i think we ended up riding about uh the little app that i had said 90k but i think it's full shit i'm pretty sure we did like 80 uh yeah mm, maybe People usually say something if they are. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is about that. So we also might not be able to walk around without, um, without people getting uncomfortable, you know? But um, yeah, so what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of continue along this path and then it kind of loops down and around and meets up with the um, and meets up with the path uh, that we took out of Seoul and we'll kind of rewrite a bit of that and then um, and then uh, and then continue on to the next stamp route which should be pretty good I am I am excited hey the whistle um, no worries, Princess Ash, no worries at all. <laughs> How are you doing? So we just How are you doing? We're in the bathhouse, which is where I got these sweet pajamas. And the bathhouse, of course, has a restaurant, because why not? Oh, the cheats game. So, these two things here, the soup and the rice, is technically what I paid for. Uh, the everything in these little uh, side dishes, the bunchan, were all free. 
So, uh, the bean sprouts, the not quite the greens, I guess, the sardines, the seafood, uh, just like seaweed, and the kimchi. Uh, holy shit, the weasel, 44 miles is huge. I'm so proud of you. Good work. Were you like just going like a loop with friends, or where did where'd you go? What did you do? Mm. Early at seven, you can you can mix it with rice if you want. I quite like the flavor without it. Like I prefer um uh like yeah, I really like the flavor of the um like the kimchi. It's pretty intense, but I I don't like the rice. I guess chilling it out. If it's really spicy, I'll add rice to it because that kind of like mellows it out a bit. And what sometimes. Um, there's like like seaweed, like seaweed sheets available. And um, you can kind of like kimchi rice, wrap the seaweed sheet around it and eat that. And that's a really good way of, uh, of knowing it out. But yeah, Liz, I think it's up to personal preference. Apparently I'm doing the stew wrong, so maybe I'm doing the rest of it wrong too. Yeah, cheers, chips, yeah. Oh. Up and down the beach. Oh, sweet. Awesome. That would have been a pretty nice ride. I love riding long beaches, mostly because it's always flat. Um, but it's usually like, just like pretty nice, pretty nice views and stuff too. <laughs> oh, Princess Ash, oops. That's okay, I thought I'd um, turn the stream off the other night, but I hadn't, so it happens, it happens to all of us. Um, really good weather, yes! The ways look perfect. Yes, this bathhouse is full of kids because they have a, um, like a. Uh, uh, like like a, like a whole playground. They have a huge playground set up in here. I've never seen a playground in a bathhouse before. But um, but yeah, like there are heaps of families in here. Um, and it's funny because the kids are running around like playing on the playground and stuff, and then parents are just like sitting down, chilling out, like drinking beers and whatnot. It it seems pretty good. Hey, Katsukuda, how are you doing? We're in the bathhouse having lunch, and then we're gonna start riding afterwards. Uh, feels very bad, man. I would rather not say if that's okay, but it's like vaguely like the vague responses. It's uh, it's like web stuff. Um, so uh, like uh, like web apps, I guess. I'm not like. In embedded systems or or anything fun like that, uh, it's, you know, pretty pretty bog standard web app stuff. I think so. My Discord channel. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Great. Um, I was kind of sad when when I got to the bathhouse last night. They were cleaning it, so I couldn't I couldn't have my pre bedtime bath. But I woke up and had a fantastic one this morning. Normally? There's maybe like two or three different bars. This place had five or six. I was spoiled for choice. It was pretty great. Yeah, it feels very bad, man. Exactly. Yeah. HTML and JavaScript and fun stuff like that. So we had a fiddle with a... Um, with an alternative app, I guess, to uh, to uh, Bitstream this morning. It didn't go so well, but that's alright. We'll continue on with Bitstream, and uh, and the more you know, you know. 
Mm. Princess I. I hope you never have to witness that. My parents have um huge baby photos of me up on their wall. So if I ever stream from their home, you, you may peek them in the background, but I'm not, I'm not willingly giving that up. Hey, thanks for the bits, Louisa. <laughs> you are very generous. I mean, every every little bit is, is very much appreciated. <laughs> every little bit, because it bits. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel like I was I was much cuter then, Princess Ash, than I was now. I watched a commercial for it, but thank you, Louisa, for watching a commercial. On my behalf. <laughs> Or rather like watching a commercial and then, and then tipping me with it, thank you. Hey, many times, how are you going? We're in the bathhouse. Um, oh. There's a restaurant in the bathhouse, and um, also the bathhouse gives you pajamas uh, when, when you come hang out, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Trumpet, we're getting through it, slowly but surely. It's nice not to rush these things. Also, no dog. Surprisingly hard to come across. despite what seems to be a common misconception. Hey Trumpet! <coughs> you are, you are very welcome here. Um, but if you could maybe like chill a little, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Um, if not, then like you're not you're not welcome here. And, um, guys, it's been like kind of like a mid blue and a light blue it's for bits, but I don't know. Jinju 3 are really like this. I love Korean pancake. Um, it's called like kimchi john or um, or oh, pie john, or I think they, they make it with heaps of different stuff here. Um, but it's basically like a savory pancake, uh, it's super crispy and deliciously fried. Uh, the health. The noodles are pretty good. I'm, not, I'm generally not a noodles guy. Oh, the barbecue here is amazing. Uh, and it's everywhere. Um, oh. Wait, there's something else that I really like. Gimba. Gimba for like these really fat sushi rolls. Um, and they're fantastic. And they're, they're like super cheap in there. They're also everywhere. It is kind of like snacky. Like snacky food, if that makes sense. I had one for breakfast. Huh. Alright, Deweasel. Yeah, I don't think I've got that option. Might be a US thing. By 92. Make my first Korean <coughs> dish today. Zuba Jerome. I love that delicious Korean food for the past couple of days. It's so delicious. And, uh, that's fantastic by 92. Good on you for making it as well. That's awesome. 
What is what is the dream? I'm sorry, I don't. I'm not. I'm not super good aside from like certain dishes and the names of things. No changes, no stuff is like, oh, that noodle dish with black bean more and whatnot, rather than their actual names. So I'm, I'm curious what you made. Mmm. Ginger K barbecue is a gift from the gods. That's savory. I hope this is how I'm spending time here. Awesome. How is welcome. Uh, Miles, I have not. What is, what is mushroom? I may have tried it, but again, I'm not super good. On the names. Oh, it's afraid tofu and spicy gravy. Oh, man. 992, that sounds awesome. I gotta find me some of that. The only, um, the only stuff I've found like that, uh, I think it's maybe topoki? I don't know. Like the, the little rice cake and the red sauce. No, oh, we saw thank you. You're watching so many ads, thank you. <laughs> All right. I feel like I feel like this stew is chill enough so that I can actually eat it. Wait, so they like you can run out of ads to watch? You can't just sit there and watch like unlimited amounts? It's still very appreciated that we saw. Thank you for taking the time to do that. <laughs> that is also very fair. <laughs> Could you not just like bot that and have like a bot sitting there watching ads and you could like farm bits? Oh, there's chili on that and I do not want that in my mouth. Mm hmm. Bring on actual. They're the um. <laughs> oh, I got taken to Korean prison. Sorry. Forgot to tell you. No. They are, um, they're the pajamas that they give you. So I've got orange ones, uh, girls get pink ones. Um, and, and they change, they change from, uh, from bathhouse to bathhouse. Little kids get yellow ones. Um, oh, I see the leaves are, okay. Well, there goes my plan for, well, like, I don't know, infinite money or whatever. Um, Cheapskate, I did have a bath. I had an excellent bath. I sat in, uh, I think it was like, it was a really hot one, and I think I just managed to put my ankles in and maybe like the bottom half of my body, but I couldn't get the top half in. It was like 50 degrees or something. Um, 53. And then I went and sat in like a 45 degree bath, and that was a lot better. And then I went and sat in like a, uh, a dry sauna and then like a wooden sauna, and that was really lovely. And then I went and sat in the 33 degree bath to kind of just like cool off, and it had like nice little bubbles. And then I um, came out here. <laughs> it was pretty good. Oh, and before I went in the bath, like they've got these really like scrubby towels, you kind of got to sit down and like scrub yourself down because you're not meant to go in the bath if you're dirty. Um, I did that and had like, got a nice lather going, scrubbed everything nice and clean, squeaky clean. Hey Joey, how you doing? <laughs> exactly, yeah, like no one wants to take these. Uh, I think. Joey Crusher, these are these are the um, the pajamas that they give you in the bar house uh, for the comment round. So uh, so guys get yellow and girls get pink. And like tiny kids get oh no, guys get orange rather. Girls get pink and tiny kids get um get yellow. Ooh. Amateur error. Right here. Okay. I just put rice all over myself. Oops.
So we are, we are going to um, finish up lunch here. Maybe have like a brief wander around the bathhouse if I don't get too many dirty looks. Uh, it's, not, it's not super big. So hopefully we'll be able to cover most of it. Um, and then I will uh, probably like post someone while I get all of my stuff because I need to go through the super naked area uh, to get out of here. Um, and then we will start riding, and we wanna we wanna get to the next step for today. And I think I think that's pretty much where we'll stop because apparently there's a big hill after it, and I kind of like you know like to tackle that fresh rather than after uh, 80k. Yeah, Joey, um, because we're in the bathhouse, like uh, it's not so much the restaurant demands <coughs> that you wear pajamas; it's just that. Uh, that like, you know, the common area of the bathhouse, everyone wears pajamas. Yum. Ooh, this is soaking up all this delicious stew. <laughs> the weasel, I definitely don't. <laughs> this is actually always my favorite color. Ah, I like blue or purple. I'm still not sure which. I used to like orange. Uh, I think, I think time has changed. Maybe. Rice! Yes. I really want some good rice. At the moment, I'm sick of this, I don't want to make it. Uh, do you have a rice cooker? Because that, that makes it pretty easy. It's like you just chuck rice and water in. And then it's, uh, and then it's pretty much done for you. Or maybe you could just order rice from, um, from like a, uh, from, from a restaurant that you know has really good rice. Hey, thanks for the follow, Antarctic. Glad you're enjoying the bathhouse. Joey, I think that's more a Japanese thing. I don't think I've really seen any here. Um, I think there's one in Seoul. But I think that's like the novelty. This, like this Jimjobong, this bathhouse, is kind of like the late night equivalent of I miss my last train home and I need somewhere to stay for the night. Uh, or somewhere cheap to stay for the night. Little sardines really grow on me. Hmm. Um, this was kimchi jiga, or kimchi stew. It's like I guess kimchi stew with um, tofu and pork, and then just all the banchan and the side dishes. So this one was was I say was because I finished them all. Uh, yeah, like little anchovies or little sardines um, in sauce, along with I think chili skins, which I'm a little afraid of. Uh, this one was like seaweed, like kelp. Um, not like dried seaweed, but like really like wet seaweed. Um, it was alright, I didn't mind it. Uh, but it, it's not my favorite. I, I very much prefer like the dried roasted seaweed. Uh, this one was kimchi, which is pretty normal. Uh, cabbage thing. This one I think was greens and um, like the chili powder paste thing? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is called. And this one was uh, bean sprouts. Which are really nice. Anyway, I'm just gonna grab you like a tiny bit more water. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, a lot of fermented food. Apparently, like, your gut bacteria is just, like, fantastic while you're here. Because there's, like, a lot of, like, probiotics, etc., etc. Mm. Mm. Sorry, Joey. Maybe, maybe time to get Korean? Don't hang around my teeth, they're my PJs. Yeah, Princess Ash. Getting ready for bed. That sounds, that sounds pretty nice. Mmm. Mm. That's so true. I'm finding out that it was rice milk. Chibi sound, honestly, that milk is delicious. I'm <laughs> finding out that you can get it in like two liter bottles, which I totally would. It was just so good. It was so good. I thought it was macadamia milk because honestly, it had that much flavor. It's pretty um, it's pretty crazy. Hmm. She'd be on me to in Korea in December. Or right, I'll come to the states. Who knows? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully one day. I will be able to repay the kindness that you have, that you have helped me out with here in Korea. Hmm. Now Chibi-san just knows everything about Korea. Like my um, my <laughs> legs are getting very uh, like kind of tired. I have like shifted positions a couple of times, but uh, we're almost done. I feel like it's something that you might get used to. Again. I was tossing up between that and a cheese, um, like katsu, which I'm pretty sure is Japanese, but who knows. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad I picked that. Mm. Yeah, it's like, um, what is it, the Asian squat, uh, Joey Crusher. It's like, I guess you've just got to like, like you're flexible in what you use. So if you if you if you practice sitting on the floor, you will like get better at it, and those joints will like get more used to it. Kids is in the crazy girl challenge. We had a teacher out of five people today. Maybe she's feeling a bit more mellow. She'd be so. Yeah. I'll be back. Maybe she did. I hope not. 
Alright guys, we are going to wander through the Jimdo Bong and then we will I'll probably host someone for the next like 20 minutes while I get all my stuff together and get out. Um, and then we will continue on riding. Yeah, the Weasler, yeah. Uh, we will not be going into the, um, the uh, actual bathhouse bit. Cheers! <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a I know, right? Um, but that's alright. She'll be right. Oh, cheapskate. I accidentally, um, I accidentally forgot to kill stream one night and we got like dorm room sleeping stream, which was not ideal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Joey, I'd, I'd say they're pretty different. If you spend enough time around um, around here, like, you kind of, kind of hear the differences. How well, many times? Alright. So, yeah. That was the, um, that was, I guess, like, the restaurant area, and then you kind of come out, like, into this open common area, and this is where, like, a bunch of people slept. So, uh, you kind of get these mats and these pillows, and you, um, you sleep on that. Uh, they're pretty comfortable. No many times, we're going away from Seoul. No cream puffs yet. Uh, this is the other, like, the front um, restaurant, I guess, or the snack bar, where, like, I'm pretty sure it's open 24 hours. You can just get, like, cup ramen and things like that, like cold foods uh, here. It's pretty, it's pretty useful, as well as, as well as pretty much whatever ice cream or drinks you want, including beer. Uh, it's pretty cool. A little Devil Girl, maybe cream puffs, actually. If we pass a good-looking bakery, I'm not... I'm not averse to a cream puff. Hello, Wavy. We are walking around the bathhouse. Um, many times we are heading away from Seoul. We're going to try and get to the next stamp booth. Uh, so it's kind of like, basically like the direction away down to the southeast, I guess. Uh, yeah, towards Busan. Um, so last night, like, you just kind of drag these mats out and... Um, find yourself a piece of floor and go for it. <laughs> uh, this bathhouse has a kid's playground, which I've never seen before. And it also has a gym, which I have seen before. Uh, I've never actually used a gym in a bathhouse, but it's, it's an option, if you want. It's like included as part of being in here. These guys just kind of, um, yeah, like, sit here and watch TV. Zichi, I actually haven't. I just am in the common area. And then we're going to, um, we're going to probably host someone and, uh, and, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, get all my stuff together and get out of here. The Weasler, it's a lot quieter at night. Uh, many times I'll show you where I slept. Along here, there are like all of these little doors go into saunas and stuff. Yeah, like you can basically sleep wherever you want uh, as long as there's room on the floor. Um, these doors, I think this one is, this one's warm and then this one's like a cold room. It's like got little icicles and stuff in it. And there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like, saunas. 
just in the common area alone. There's another two in each of the, um, the gendered areas. But yeah, I don't know if you can kind of see, like, people have got, like, the little mats and they're um, lining them up along the walls and they're just sitting there like that's so that's where you sleep. See if you're lucky there's an arcade corner. There is a little room that says PC Bomb with arcade machines in it, but um, that no one, no one is really in there. Oh, happy deco, there we go. Cold room, infrared room, and herbal room. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think, I think we used to have like these little video game machines uh, down there, but, but not anymore. Hey, happy deco. How are you doing? Um, you can't really see. <laughs> I have no idea what this room is, but that's basically where I slept. It was the darkest room, and there were PowerPoints in it, so that was that was what I opted for. And then each of these, like on this side, it leads to the guys section, and on the other side over here, it leads to the girls section, and that's where I uh, that's where I can't take you guys into. Unfortunately, <laughs> because everyone's super naked. And yeah, yeah, there are many. Cheapskate, uh, this one cost me uh, nine bucks. And you can, you can stay in here for as long as you want. And you can also like, you know, they do massages and they do all that kind of stuff. You can pay someone to give you a scrub down. It's very affordable. Um, this place is so relaxing, I'd take a nap. It's perfect for a nap. I have a wife's fire in LA that's like this. Penguin Actual, I may have been to that. There are, there are a couple of Korean spas in LA. Nikosan, um, so I slept in here because it was nice and dark. Uh, you can pretty much sleep everywhere. Um, yeah, maybe not in the bathroom, that would be weird. But I've seen like people drag, uh, like, they'll drag like mats behind these chairs or they'll sleep in the chairs or, um, Oh yeah, like pretty much wherever you can find a place. I don't think they are out here. No, there's, there's usually like stacks of mats like these and like the little block pillows. Um, and you kind of like, you just drag one to wherever you want it. <laughs> Shall we? I did actually sit in one of the chairs. They're not very comfy, they're like massage chairs, so they've got like the little things that poke into your back. But I assume do something nice when you actually turn them on. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna go get all my stuff together and we're gonna get going. In the meantime, uh, I am going to post someone to hopefully entertain you. Uh, for the next 20, 20, 30 minutes. And also, if, I mean, you know, if you wanna hang out with her, uh, that is also good. She is a uh, DJ called Chisa99. I'm not sure if anyone's familiar. She's a bit more um, happening than Pondalimp, but I feel like because it's during the day and not at night, like, I don't know, like, it's kind of a happening time. And I, I really enjoy her sets. Uh, <laughs> So I am going to chuck you into her channel for the next half hour or so, and then we'll pick up on the bike afterwards. Joey, my sister, does stream, um, but I don't think she is streaming right now. Ooh. Your parents for not naming your sister Ariel. I, I, yeah, missed opportunity maybe. Actually, I've never heard that one before. I've got a lot of Sebastian the Crab jokes, but never uh, Ariel. So I will, I will see you guys on the other side. Uh, hang tight.